Hey, what's up, guys? It's Double Chen Show. Hi. Hello. Food adventure with Cheryl. Hi. Cheryl, this is Cheryl. your second time with us. Something you need to know about Cheryl. She doesn't eat a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't eat a lot of stuff. So Why are you here? Because you guys were like, come for dim sum. So I was like, okay, I'll get some dim sum. Because we dragged her here, dude. <laughs> so you're going to eat that chicken claw, right? Uh, I mean, I like chicken feet. It's like still in my Chinese blood, so I like it. Okay. So it's like a delicacy. Okay, and okay, at least you'll eat that. Yeah. So today we're in Flushing. Um, at, uh, actually, I never went to the Dim Sum place before. I've been here once. We're gonna show you what you must get if you ever go to Dim Sum. When you start a Dim Sum meal, the first thing you gotta do is serve tea. And it's really rude to just serve yourself first. So if I'm gonna be like, I'm thirsty, I'm gonna, no, that's, you can't, can't do, that. do that, bro. So I'm gonna serve my fellow. I should be the one for Because you're the youngest. Yeah. Oh, Wait, why yes. don't you pour? Yeah, tea serve. etiquette, guys. Serve your elders. Elder, yeah. grandpa. That's right. And when they serve the tea, a couple things you can do. Is in the north, we knock on the table with our knuckles. Mm -hmm. In the south, they tap the table with their fingers. So, which I'm from the south. You're from the so south. So I'm I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, which I think is more correct because I think you're right. <laughs> there's a Chinese story that like the emperor was on the run, and uh, his to disguise himself, his servants, he had to serve his servants. So he had to dress up as a servant to serve his servants, and the servants couldn't kneel down and bow because the emperor is serving them. So they had to. He can't. They can't reveal that right. it's the emperor. Right. right. So this is symbolize their knees. Yeah. I don't know what this is. This, this is, is the jumping up and down. Yeah. This is standing, basically praising bouncing. the emperor. Anyways, guys, and also make sure when you set the pot down, do not point the spout at anyone because that's rude. Yeah. So I'm gonna point it not even at you guys. Uh -huh. I'm gonna point it because we that polite. Way. That's right. So we got some of the classic dim sum dishes and some some of these you gotta get when you come to yeah. dim sum. Traditional shao mai, xia jiao, ribs, Seen chicken that. feet. This right. is actually my favorite. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Beef tendon. Um, and we got some other stuff that's typically yeah. you won't see on classical uh, dim sum meals. They're kind of fancy. I've never seen They're this They're really before. fancy here. It's like uh, shrimp dumpling with crab on top. Yeah. And this is a scallop, I think, right? No, that's shrimp right there. But it has a little bit oh, of a fish, fish roll, roll on top. And we got soup dumplings, which, which you don't, don't typically see. see in dim sum. Yeah. Typically, you gotta have some. Uh, we each get like a hot pepper. Usually they give you hot, hot pepper and then uh, mustard. Yeah. But here it's only a hot sauce, which, you know, I'll do, I'll do with that. We got the best, guys. And this is why we're doing this video, because when you go to dim sum, your eyes will start looking everywhere. Yeah. And, and there's going to be a lot of stuff on that cart where don't, don't even go near it. Yeah. There, it's a trick. Right. These are the must-get classic dishes yes. at dim sum. Here's the thinner thing about dim sum. You gotta be willing to try. You gotta be. That's part of the fun. Yeah. All right. Well, All what right, do you guys want to try first? Let's try the shao mai. That's yeah. a classic. So, I mean, I'm not a fan of the shao mai yeah. personally. You mean just in general? In know? general, because it, it's very heavy. You like it the shao mai? It was good. Yeah. It, it was mostly shrimp. Yeah, it's one of those dishes, it's really famous, you have to get it, it's one of the foundations of dim sum, but personally, not loving it. There's so much other stuff, so I can't just, I can't fill my stomach with that all the time. This is the xia jiao, guys. I don't actually appetite. don't put any sauce on it, I just eat it originally. A lot of shrimp flavor, you like it? Oh, she's making a face. I, I think the skin is too thick. We got it like 10 minutes ago, but let me tell you why it's good. The shrimp, it's, um, it's got a good texture, because you could tell when it's a bad shrimp, when it's grainy and it's mushy. So it's a good trip. Next, let's go for let's... my favorite item, which is the tofu oh, wrap. Oh yeah. This love is this. my favorite thing in it. the world of dim sum. I love it. Love it. It's filled with pork. Uh, I think there's some bamboo, bamboo shoots. shoots. I'll tell you what, when I was having dim sum in Hong Kong, I thought this was better in New York. Get out of here. Yeah. I did. How? It was much more flavor here. In Hong Kong, I don't think they put a lot of pork in there. There's not a lot of the fatty flavor. Really? You have to get this dish. Honestly, from the look of it, if you don't know what it is, it doesn't look that appetizing. Right. But it is the it's one it is like my top three. How about we do a classic, another classic next? Okay. Let's Open. Dip into the chicken feet. Every time I come to this some I order this. Uh -huh. I don't like it. Everyone that comes with me likes it, but I'm willing to try it. It's not my favorite thing. If anything, I like the pickle version better. Mm. I think this is the number one most controversial dim sum item for like Westerners. It's not bad, you know? I just don't sit around thinking about this all day. Yeah. It's literally melts in your mouth. Cheryl, why don't we try your favorite? Tendons are good for your um, jumping skills. Oh. It makes your tendons more stretchy. It smells good. 
It's like a uh, really hard jello. Yeah, I usually don't, and I'm doing it today with you guys, of uh -huh. course. You know, this is also, um, it's very gelatinous, and I like it when it comes with a little sliver of lean meat. Yeah. It's and really good. I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty good. I hardly eat tendon. It's pretty good. I love tendon. Ah, so good. How about we try this? This is getting Yeah, cold. that looks awesome. This is Nyo Zaiku. It looks like it's peppery, too. It's very it's peppery. It's this is a must-get dim sum. I love oh, this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the flavor is amazing. Mm. It's like a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Did you try it? Yeah, I tried it's good. It. Pretty good. This is my favorite uh, thing ever. This is good. This is good. Favorite thing ever. Ah. This is rice noodles. And usually on the inside, there's either beef or shrimp, all kinds of stuff. You could put fried dough. Any kind I like. And they just pour soy sauce over it. And it's a delicious, like, ahead, sweet soy thing. Thank you. I usually do ladies first, but I love I love this on side. He does ladies first. I'm telling something he likes. It's good. It's good. Like the skin, it just like oh. melts. The shrimp is big enough. This is a dish you can't eat without the sauce. Otherwise, it's just bland. All right, I'm going to pick one. I really like these. Oh, oh, that oh. Looks like a I almost stabbed it. I almost stabbed it, guys. Don't ever stab me. You can't stab it? Uh, Sorry. She obviously didn't watch our chopstick taboo video. No, I didn't. This not. is a fried shrimp ball. I love these. Um, I like it though when the skin is not as flaky, and there are some places that do that. So let's. All right, it's pretty crispy. This is good. Let's pick a meat item, shall we? Let's go back to some meat. This is usually you get two types of ribs at yeah. dim sum: the uh, beef ribs, and then these are the short pork ribs. And they're usually cooked with uh, black bean sauce. Yep. But here, I don't think it is. And they're usually cooked with taro as well. The flavor is right. Actually, I think this is la this particular one's lacking a little, but you have to get the right one. Okay. This is probably the worst fur rib I had. Yeah. Not the Can we uh, move on to another classic yeah. here? Oh, oh yes. This Ooh, thing. I'm sorry. This is like my worst enemy. You don't like it? I grew up like hating this thing. I'm hey, sorry. Hating it? I'll tell you this right now. I don't like it either. What? I don't like it. This is good. You're, this is good. Too sweet for you guys, right? It's, it's like a cold pork sandwich, basically. Yeah. All right, Mikey. Let's do the uh, local call. All right. This is my nemesis. I don't like this at all. You don't like it? No. I Why not? I really like this. I love it too. I don't understand it. It's a fried daikon cake. This is the most popular, one of the most popular breakfast items in China. And when I was a kid, my mom used to. Did your mom ever make it for you? That's probably why it's you don't like it. It's actually pretty easy to make. It's really it's easy. Hard. My mom used to make this for me every morning, so I have a, I have that memory, you know. Good. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys about this because I love porridge. I hate it. But you can't argue that this is one of the most ubiquitous dim sum no, dishes, is, you know? And, and I love how like when you order it, they have the station, so you pick your toppings, right? Scallions, fermented egg, whatever. I love this. Um, it's just like, it, it reminds me of home. I'm a northerner, so I have a lot against salty kanji. I can't do salty kanji. So how, how do you eat it then? I eat sweet kanji. I've with, never, with dates. Like a dates, yeah. So I'm eating this whole thing? You're gonna have to eat that whole thing. Okay. All right guys, we're gonna stop the savoriness and do a dessert item. You gotta eat this when it's hot. This is salty egg yolk bun. Okay. With salty eggs inside. Got it. This should be beautiful. Salty eggs flowing up, flowing out. See that? Ooh. That's I've all salty I've never had eggs. that before. Try that, bro. Oh! Can I have half of that? Wait, this is a salty egg. A salty egg. But it's but sweet. It's sweet, yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, they add some sugar. Uh, man, that's good. That's good, right? Must get. This is a must get item anywhere you go. The salty Ooh. egg bun. What oh it is? Don't God. let that scare you. It's, right? You know what it is? The salty egg's still salty. Yeah. But they have caramel on the side of it, so it's almost like a salty caramel bun. Woo! That's really good. Really good, right? First time I had this, I never had this before before my last uh, dim sum video. But I had it, I was like, you puffy, beautiful thing. Where have you been my whole life? But this is one of my favorite. Oh, I like this stuff too. Tripe. A lot of people don't like tripe, including Dan. I don't like it. Doesn't like tripe. Cow stomach. I love it. You like it? Yeah. So much good flavor here. Tripe is something where you bite into it. It's crunchy. It soaks up. It's really good in soup because it soaks up a lot of that. There's a lot of little edges where you can grab a lot of the sauce in the soup. This one's not bad. I think some people might be scared of it because, like, when it touches your tongue, it's yeah. like. 
And it, it, has... and it looks like it's got goosebumps. Yeah. The texture is kind of weird. That's weird. But I think it's delicious. We gotta balance our meal with some veggies. Yeah. I love veggies. So go ahead, guys. Have Thank some veggies. You. No, you, you're not gonna. You're I'm not gonna, gonna give that to you. Yeah. Guys, when you go to dim sum, you gotta get the one veggie dish that everyone gets. It's the kai line. And basically, it's steamed, and then they put this, they don't do it here, but then they put this poison sauce on it, and that's the most popular. And you only really need one vegetable dish to go with your meal. And, and when people say broccoli in China, yeah. This is what they mean, not like the Western broccoli. This no. is the broccoli that people are talking about. Chinese broccoli. Chinese broccoli. Yeah. Finally, to end everything, egg tarts. Egg tarts. This is a very small egg tart. Well, I like that. I like that. Yeah. These are more like the Hong Kong version. I had the Portuguese version. You guys go check out my video on Super Dumpling. It's big Portuguese version. I'm still Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Still Hong Kong egg tart. But it's so delicious. They make it fresh out of the oven. It's a place in Chinatown, Brooklyn. It, the difference is that the top is like ovened to the point where it caramelizes. That's right. what makes a difference. Right. So this is a very traditional Hong Kong one. Yeah. Mm. Really flaky. Really flaky, very yolky. Yeah. All right, guys. So today we just want to show you guys some of the most popular traditional dim sum items to get when you go dim summing. Now, you can be that friend that takes your friends to the dim sum and act like you know what you're doing. You can be that person. Okay. And a couple rules to also remember about dim summing is, first of all, remember, gotta be able to try everything. Don't be don't be one of those guys like, that looks, that looks weird. I'm gonna try that. Yeah. No, no, no. Try everything. You gotta you share. Try. You can try everything because everything is small portions. So just get a bit of everything. Never be the guy who's like, you know what guys? I'm gonna order uh I'm gonna order a rib just for me. No. This is a sharing environment. I gotta hand it to you, Cheryl, because I didn't think that you would try most of this stuff. Well I have to be a happy trooper. I mean a good trooper. <laughs> she, so. she just said it so I had me to do some meat. Uh, we wanted to come to this place today in Flushing. This is Jade something. Jade, it starts with Jade. There's a couple of other yeah, places. Yeah, because this is this is a place we've never been, but we knew the selection is wider here, so we wanted to try someplace new for this video. Yeah. But my all-time favorite dim sum place is actually uh, Seafood seafood Jewel, a um, couple of blocks away from here. Yeah. Because I feel like their quality is, is a lot better, but they lack the variety of things here. That's right. My favorite is actually not in um, Queens. Yeah. It's Jingfeng. You, that's your oh. favorite? It's really in good. Manhattan? Yeah. Oh, I've only been to Jingfeng in Manhattan. This is actually my first time in Flushing. Having dim sum, mm, so okay. yeah, that's why I agree to this thing. And actually, the best dim sum I've ever had in New York City is Brooklyn, where I think a place called Park Asia, Brooklyn. Yeah, we gotta look that up. Yeah, yeah. Is this, okay. So we'll put we'll put our favorite dim sum places for you guys in the description box. Uh, okay. The other good thing about this place is it, it's like two bucks. Wow. But but Mike. Tell them, it's two dollars <laughs> per dish, whatever the size, but it's only two hours, Monday through Friday, yeah. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So if you can get to Flushing during those times, you can enjoy some that's cheap It's a cheap, cheap, it's uh, really cheap, cheap. cheap I think you would come back here and just drop 20 bucks and eat 10 dishes one day. No, you might do it. No, because after my Hong Kong experience, my Hong Kong dim sum experience, if you guys haven't seen it, check out my Strictly Dumpling channel. Uh, my my palate for dim sum has risen. Yeah, that's right. Because I went to a Michelin star dim sum place. That exists. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, that you can't even. I'm to like, you like, huh, this is so pedestrian to me. Guys, make sure you check out Cheryl's new channel. Inspiration TV. And last time I made Mike try vegan food. Yeah, and that was Dan awesome. Was there too, so. That was awesome. You guys, you want to see how that much was... I suffered? Go watch that video. I enjoy this because they torture me with this stuff, so that's my payback. Yeah, torture you with good food. Okay, I don't, okay, yeah, it's good. And don't forget guys, me and Dan have a new channel, Double Chen News, it's really entertaining. We upload videos every single day. Go go watch it, it's, it's we think it's fun. And you get to learn more about the world, or just the ones, just, just the stories that we choose to present to you. Yep. All right guys, so we'll put all that link, all that info in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Bye.